1029 The Buzz, Nashville's Rock Station. What's going on? I'm Squeegee in the Wrenches Warehouse Buzz Studio. Honored today to have Tom Green. Oh my God, good to be here. That's amazing. Honor. It's an honor to be here. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, man. We're getting something. People are screaming at me in my ear. We got to go. Oh, okay. We just saw you. I just saw you on the local TV station. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, quick, he cut you off quick. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, why were they afraid you were going to say something? Or I don't know. I don't know. It, was, it wasn't that quick. I mean, TV time is, you usually have less time to talk on television in these morning shows, right? Because they had to get to breaking news because the Taco Bell kitchen was on fire. Yeah. 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 But they were, uh, they were cool over there at Fox. We had a good time this morning. And, uh, Bob and uh, Jennifer were very nice. And, right. uh, we're filming a documentary for our, uh, our, uh, uh, basically about my comedy tour. I'm doing a comedy special right. on this uh, on this tour through uh, Tennessee and North Carolina. So we're filming right now. You can see there's cameras here right now. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're, we're making a comedy special and we're, I'm doing my shows down at Zany's all weekend and we're going to be filming there. So people that come down to the show will be in my next comedy special. All right. Do you have a Kickstarter, you know, no, no, budgeting this is, all of this no, or getting us already? Or are no. you just doing us all on your own, man? Your own dime. Uh, it's actually for a television channel. Uh, yeah, so it's for I've been on this television network, Access TV. So yeah, yeah so yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to be airing it, and it's going to be really cool. All right, cool. Now you're here the 9th through the 12th here at Zanies, and then you are going to Chattanooga after that, correct? Yeah, Chattanooga, then Asheville, then Greensboro, and then Charlotte. So, but we're here in Nashville for for four nights, six shows. Uh, I'm doing six shows, and when I say we, I'm referring to uh, Patrick and Jody, my camera crew, right my on. buddies here. We're ha we're having a good time. So you got here just in time. We were mentioning it earlier. NRA's in town. They're having yeah. a big convention. Yeah. You going to do anything with the NRA? Is it? Is it? Uh, I, I might. I might go over to the convention. Uh, I heard yeah. Ted Nugent was over there. I've never met him. Uncle I, Ted's I, in town. I, I yeah. want to meet Ted Nugent. I heard Donald Trump is over there. My old boss. Really? Oh, that's yeah. right. You were on The Apprentice yeah. for a season. Yeah, I got fired on the third episode because I uh -huh. went out drinking with Dennis Rodman on the night I was the project manager. Wow. Yeah. So, like, that's a serious position. Is it? The project manager position. With Donald yeah. Trump you and The Apprentice? Yeah, you shouldn't disrespect that by going out drinking with uh, uh, you know, a seven-foot-tall cross-dressing basketball champion. I didn't know Dennis Rodman actually drank still. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I mean, yeah, sure. Did he well, have any good Well, I, this was 10 years ago. Oh, so, okay. Well, you know. this is before he like was hanging out with Kim jong Mm, yeah, right? you know. yeah. I think he was drinking with Kim Young, and though just that's based on what I what I saw on on Vice magazine or whatever. I would have liked to have Kim had Young. That Hoon, I think he can put a few back. That you guy think? likes that like guy likes to drink. That guy likes to party. That explains his oh, haircut. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you now is any of this going to be part of the Tom Green show or the Webovision on TomGreen.com? Uh, no, well, what we're what we're shooting today is not. It's for a comedy special, but the WebOvision. I probably will take some clips and put it up on the WebOvision. I'm always putting stuff up on the WebOvision. The WebOvision is uh, is my WebOvision show that I do on the internet. Uh, it's kind of a new genre of television. It's interactive television. So I've built a studio. I used to do this show in my living room. Now I have it in a little studio in Los Angeles, and uh, you can call in and be on the show. With what's, Skype, what's the number? And I and a telephone. I have a telephone as well. Right, I love your high just, tech telephone, and dude, it, with it, the microphone next yeah, to it. Yeah, it's a landline, yeah. and it just rings and it rings <laughs> and it rings throughout the entire interview. So it's kind of fun. I'm trying to create a sort of a, a, a sort of a you know a, a very spontaneous environment where uh, and we're really just launching it again right now. It's it's really brand new. We're actually. Not even officially on the air yet. We're getting our, our new high-speed lines and everything. We're going right. to be going live uh, probably in a few weeks. Now, all right, so when, when you When I say we, I've got celebrity guests. I've got comedians. I've your dad. Got all, so, yeah, my dad. Yeah. All sorts of funny people come by the show. So it's very cool. When you call in, you get to talk to really cool people. Last year, we had uh, Steve Carell on and yeah. uh, Howie Mandel and... Uh, Andrew Dice Clay and also uh, tons of people. Now, yeah. when you when when you started back with MTV back in the '90s and stuff, I mean, we we didn't have any of this stuff. Going, you know, web was still basically brand damn new, and we didn't know what we were doing back then. And so you look at how you know you had to buy cable and you had to get this channel, so you couldn't see your show or see what you were doing. But now with technology today, I mean, you're I mean. You, you're doing live tweets on the show, correct? Yeah. Uh, you've got the WebOvision. You've got the Skype calls, like you said, and again, your high-tech phone coming in all the time. Is it not amazing how you can reach the world today rather than it was like, what, 10, 15, 20 years ago? Yeah, it's awesome. It's you know? amazing. Yeah, and, and as you're, you're taking this off. You're an innovator, continuing on with this. I mean, you know, most guys, like, look at some of those guys. I mean, like, you know, you got that loser guy. What's his name? Uh, Chris Hardwick, you know, and he was banging Jenny McCarthy on that whatever dating show that they had on MTV. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm like, know. you know, now he's trying to do a little show and, but I mean, it's, it's, he's not done as well as you though. 
Okay, I don't know. Uh, well, look, I, I'm not. Uh, I don't want to get into some sort of beef with anyone here. Uh, I, I look. I'm just doing my thing. I'm having a great time. Uh, you know, I mean, I've always been interested in technology. That's kind of why my show on MTV in 1999 sort of took off like it did was because it was a little bit ahead of the curve. I mean, we was we, we were out there shooting with video cameras and little cameras like this that you guys are shooting with today. Um, because, uh, you know, I grew up watching skateboard videos right. and watching Letterman and watching Candid Camera. I always liked that out on the street kind of comedy. And there wasn't really a lot of that on TV back in the 90s. And then all of a sudden you could get your hands on a little video camera, go do some gorilla barge down yeah. Main Street goofing with real people stuff. And so we really kind of pushed, pushed that on uh, public access in Canada. So when MTV, I sent my, my bits to MTV, they saw that and they said, you got any more of these bits? I said, oh, I got about a thousand of these bits. And uh, we just basically re-aired my Canadian show in 1999 on MTV, and it took off. But I think it's because of my interest in technology. You know, that's what I'm doing now. I'm taking all sorts of consumer electronics, building this TV studio myself with my friends. It's completely non-corporate, completely, completely independent. So we're able to do all sorts of crazy stuff without having to run run it past a network and and that's right. that's fun you know that's, Sensors. That's, yeah that's why we're able to just go on the air with my friends or with comedians or with my parents and have a phone ringing off the hook through the the middle of the interview and we're live and I'm taking phone calls and people are swearing and people are drinking and people are smoking and right. and uh, we don't care you know it's just kind of uh, real and fun and ridiculous and, uh, and it's fun to watch has Johnny Knoxville ever thanked you for paving the way for him for jackass uh, he's, a, he's, I've talked to him a lot. I don't right. know if he's actually thanked me, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, those, those guys, m many of those guys have acknowledged that they were, were fans of the show before Steve-O certainly has. Yeah. Uh, we just had Preston Lacey on the WebOvision show. I just had a drink with Johnny Knoxville a few weeks ago at the, uh, SNL 40 party, which was really awesome Yeah, to be partying it up with all the Saturday Night Live cast and all sorts of uh, And you were on people. SNL for a season? Uh, no, I was just, I hosted it once. Okay. So as a host, I got invited to that party. I, so I yeah. quit watching SNL, I think late 80s, early 90s, just because it got bad. Yeah. Everyone, I, I think I, I mean, you know, no, I yeah. mean, I don't want to take away from anybody. They're, they're all great comedic talents. They are so beyond whatever I could ever think. Oh, you're a funny guy. No, I'm not. These guys are great. They're fantastic writers. But again, yeah. it just got to a point where it was just like, eh. yeah, you know, I, I look at it like I, I feel like there's a time in everybody's life where they're really into comedy. Mm -hmm. It's 14 years old. OK. And when you discover Saturday Night Live when you're 14 years old, right. you just love it. And so you always remember that cast that was there when you were 14 to, you know, 18 years right. old or whatever. That's the cast you remember of Saturday Night Live. I discovered Saturday Night Live when I, when I was 14 years old and Eddie Murphy was on yep. and, and uh, Steve Joe, Martin. And, Joe Piscopo. And, yeah, Joe Piscopo. And I always go, oh, my God, it's never been as good as when Joe Piscopo was on. Right. right? You know, I just used to love it, but uh, I used to love Eddie Murphy on there. But, uh, you know, I, and, and then every every few years you hear people, oh, it's not as good as the new last cast. But I don't know. I think the, the new cast is great. I, I got to hang out and party with those guys. They right. certainly were a bunch of great, great guys. You know, we had a good time.